Good morning, it's Cody Nelson here. Uh, back at it again, we're out in a cornfield here in uh, west central Minnesota. Actually not too far from Morris, Minnesota right now. So I'm out here in an interseeded cornfield and I just wanted to show you kind of what's going on. So I'm gonna flip this around here. So we've, this is, uh, let's see, it's August 5th today and we are experiencing kind of the meltdown of the interseeded covers. And this is typically what we see uh, throughout this time of year is this cover crop is just going to kind of start to melt down. We, you can see, uh, let's see, it's about 10:30 in the morning here. Uh, we just we've got some sunlight coming down, but not very much. So so these covers really are not going to do look all that uh, great. So what we have here is a mix of just simple annual ryegrass and radishes so um they're not not radishes excuse me turnips so you can see that their turnips are here uh they're not doing a lot this was seeded at about v5 to v7 uh this is at 30 inch corn and so we've uh, it, it was actually no-tilled into a cover crop this corn was no-tilled into a cover crop stand um last this last spring there was cover crops following a small grain here so uh, but i just wanted to show you don't get too down on the dumps down on the dumps when when you come out and look at this cover crop it's going to continuously get look start to look worse here for the next couple weeks and then come late august typically it comes back and bounces back so um don't get down on it if this is your first time interseeding you know that the brassicas do not always come back uh that can be hit or miss sometimes that's why we don't like to spend too much time on that uh, but I just want to show you some of these other rows with the annual ryegrass the reason we put annual ryegrass in these mixes uh, for early interseeding is because it is more shade tolerant than almost anything else that we see um, or experience so anyways I just wanted to show you that it can get a little disheartening uh, late summer to look at your interseeding so if this if this is the first time you've done it um you know just be patient and wait till fall come back and and take a look at it later on and hopefully uh, as the canopy starts to open back up now you've got something to capture that sunlight capture any excess nutrients and uh, turn it into energy and and hopefully we can use it to benefit your next cash crop so um anyways please uh subscribe to the channel cover crop kings we appreciate all the input got any questions ask them in the comments below and uh, make sure to like and like and share the video we appreciate it thanks a lot have a great day